straight from our crockbot. Our crock crockbot. It'd be really cool to have a crockbot. What would you like for dinner tonight, ma'am? Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog, that has well over 400 recipes in Ryzen, and today we're going to make some taters with bacon. That's a redneck way of saying bacon-wrapped fingerling potatoes. But uh, this is the crock pot cookbook that I've been harping so much about. And today we're going to be making these uh, fingerling potatoes uh, wrapped in bacon. Now, the problem at the store was we couldn't find fingerling potatoes, which I guess fingerling potatoes, other than makes you sound like you're Lawrence Welk. Yes, yeah, straight from the fingerlings. Um, they're like a longer skinny potato. We're using baby yellow potatoes. They work just fine. Um, and originally we talked about it, and we were doing four tapings tonight. We got halfway through and it was like, oh, it's late. Let's not do the taters. We'll just do this other recipe that we're gonna do. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, did you even taste the ones that we got done? She's like, no. And so I just stuck a fork in one, ate it, and I said immediately, we're going to tape this right now because there is no way I could let y'all go without seeing this recipe. It is that good. It's really simple, and it goes a little something like this. You need one tablespoon of fresh thyme. I've already got some here that's been pretty much minced up. And then you also need one half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper one quarter teaspoon of paprika. You also need one quarter cup of chicken broth. And then that all goes in with the stars of your show, starring yellow taters. Now, the recipe says to have one pound of yellow uh, potatoes and then also a half pound of bacon that has been cut in half. Now, when I was doing this first recipe, I had a pound of potatoes. It didn't take near a half pound of bacon. I think it's one of those kind of things like hot dogs versus hot dog buns. You'll never mash them up correctly. Just make sure you got enough of both. If you got some left, left over, use them for another recipe. But what you first need to do is take your freshly minced thyme and put it in a bowl along with your, not your fingers. <laughs> they could have been bad your half teaspoon of ground pepper, which, In which Michael I don't know how seven you do. turns because he No, that's ten. Does. Seven, seven. Uh, uh, okay, that's way, that that's enough. <laughs> that's enough pepper, she said so. And then you need one quarter teaspoon of paprika. Ours is Penzi's, and we love it. It's got a really good smoky flavor. And then once you put all those together, your thyme, your pepper, and your paprika in there. Oh, wait. Stir it up. Did you get thyme on your hand? <sighs> We've been having this little pun war all night, and it's not pun anymore. But I know she'll probably do another one at least one more time. Kind of get that in there, and then you want to use two tablespoons of olive oil. So there's about one tablespoon. And there's about two. I could measure, but it takes time. <laughs> Got ya. All right, and I'm gonna stir that up a little bit, get it all mixed up good. And then you toss your pound of potatoes in there. Now, I'm not gonna use a whole pound because I'm not gonna waste all the potatoes. I've got three already cooking in there to show you what it's gonna kinda look like. And then I'll just take these three and toss them. All you wanna do, is get all of your potatoes coated and that's the her phone's ringing i bet it's her sister yes and she's getting the text i am in the meeting okay <laughs> which she's going to reply when aren't you in a meeting my wife's always in meetings yes she does it all the time oh man so you, okay now look right here well i can't really show you because that that crock pot's occupied but your potatoes are coated in the thyme and pepper and olive oil. That's Popeye's girlfriend, by the way. And then, I was supposed to keep that fork. It's late. You wanna take your half strips of bacon and wrap tightly around your potatoes. Make sure 
that they get wrapped all the way around where bacon touches bacon, and you want it to be tight. There's one, if I can get this bacon pulled apart, I'm not torn apart. There's two, like that. Where bacon touches bacon, and it's kind of a weaning little piece of bacon there, but it'll work for what we're doing here. This is demonstration only. I will still eat them later. You wrap it around like that, where the bacon is tightly wrapped around your taters. When you get done with that, you want to, um, now the recipe in the crock pot book says to have a skillet set on medium high heat and then um, you toss your potatoes wrapped in bacon into your slow cooker. We got these really cool slow cookers that do everything. So I put mine on a brown sauteing thing and I preheated it up to 400 degrees. And then when it got there, I tossed my potatoes in and dropped it down to 350. And looking at it, it still might be a little too high, but grab some tongs. You want to brown your bacon. Now bacon, if you don't know this and if you don't know What's wrong with you? Because everybody fries bacon. But bacon shrinks up as it cooks because all that fat is cooking out of the bacon. So it'll shrink up around your potatoes. Kind of like a tater shrink wrap, really. Only more delicious. So I'll go ahead and toss these in there. And once your potatoes have brown on all sides, or your, I'm sorry, your bacon rather has brown on all sides. All you want to do is put in your quarter cup of chicken broth. And all that chicken broth is going to do is act as an anti-drying agent because you're going to cook these on high for three hours. And if you don't put any liquid in there and you cook it on high for three hours, them taters are going to shrivel up. They're going to be dry. It's not really going to taste good at all. You put a little bit of liquid in there, and you're also going to add some flavor and some salt in there with that chicken broth along with your, your bacon. That's going to add the salt, a little bit more flavor in there, and that's going to keep your potatoes from drying out. So let's put a lid on this. Like I said, let it brown up on all sides. You'll need to turn your bacon over, your bacon wrapped potatoes over until all sides are brown as bacon gets. and then you put it on high for three hours after you put in your chicken broth. Now let me remember which way I, I had this all plugged in because uh -oh. I need to move, just like this arm on a bomb. I need to move this slow cooker out the way to show you what the final product looks like. So these go here and the final product, I'm very proud of these two. These turned out really, <laughs> really good. So. Now let me just say, you always give me a hard time about prep, but the two recipes tonight that you had to prep, you were very proud of. They were really good. So maybe, I did a good job. You should maybe do more of the prep. I didn't go that far. <laughs> All right, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And as you can see in the slow cooker, these are done. They're browned on all sides. The potatoes have softened up. In fact, I can squish them with my tongs. And there's still a little bit of liquid. There's some fat in there in the bottom, of course, from the bacon. But a lot of that liquid has gone. It's sucked up into the potatoes as well as evaporated. But let me get our pretty bowl out and we'll plate these up just like that all right and then my wife said that I could only eat the ugly one because she had to take <laughs> pictures but this is what they look like they're just bacon wrapped potatoes y'all they're flavorful they're soft and I'll prove it to you. Grab 
grabbing a fork and stabbing the ugly one. To me, it's pretty. Smells good. That thyme is very aromatic. There's something about using a fresh herb versus like a freeze dried herb. You get all those aromatics from it. Mmm, delicious smell. I could have cut it in half, but I didn't want to. Now you can't have another one for your outtake. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> no. I have to take pictures. That's perfect. You can have them as a meal. You might want to run a marathon afterwards with all that bacon. <laughs> bacon and taters. But. That's good. Bacon wrapped anything is good, let's be honest. But, you know, yellow potatoes are a little sweeter. They're soft. And they make, I mean, we use them all the time for parcel potatoes and things like that, but that is very good. It's almost like having a sophisticated way of having a potato. <laughs> it almost looks like cute little appetizers. I bet you could like Well, I think that that's the idea. It's kind of like the, you know how they sometimes do the little hot dogs wrapped in bacon? Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of the concept only with a potato. Well, that's a great concept because I would serve those. I would walk around the house at a dinner party and go, oh dear. <laughs> of course then, no, you I was wouldn't. walking around with this bowl and there'd be nothing left because I'd have I was going to say, you wouldn't be sharing them. <laughs> I'm so glad we decided to do that recipe. That is really good. I'm so glad I got to include y'all in it too because you really need to make that. Um, again, we want to thank you guys for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. And uh, if you would, if you like what you're seeing, if you like what we're laying down, uh, go ahead and click subscribe down there at the bottom of the video and become of our little slow cooking family. It's rising every single day and we'd love for you to be a part of it. And also check us out at Facebook over at Recipes That Croc, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, where we promote these videos as well as do music and other fun things from the family. Thanks again for watching. You guys keep watching and we will keep cooking, I promise. <laughs> All will be well. Bye. Ah! <laughs> I got caught. <laughs>